Well, there's so many times that we go through difficult situations and the outcome is determined by how we handle that. You are going to love my next author. Her name is Jillian. She wrote a book called Jillian MK2 by Chance. And Jillian, first of all, welcome to the show. Hello. <laughs> We're glad that you're here. No. So I and would love... I would love for you to share about how the book came to be and not getting too personal, a little bit about your injury so that we can get a good foundation. My injury, if you imagine a computer on which you have a keyboard, the messages to your screen are through the keyboard. This is your brain sending messages to your body to react. Get a sledgehammer, smash the keyboard and your screen will be blank. It won't know what to do. It won't understand the messages because all the wires are confused and tangled. That's like a brain injury. Your brain's all confused and tangled and the wires are all, all squiffy and your body doesn't know what to do. And that and that happened to you in an injury, an accident? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I was unconscious for six weeks. Oh. And semi-conscious for a while after and then conscious yay conscious with bad things about to happen in your personal life mm -hmm. it's been a rocky road since then and anybody who suffers any kind of injury life-changing will be aware of that because injuries like this don't just affect you they affect those around you sure. so it's a ripple effect yeah I mean, it changes everything. Just overnight, your life is completely different. Your husband divorces you, and you're really not able to do much except be on a computer 24-7, right? Mm, well, not 24-7. I wasn't that obsessed, but it okay. did occupy me. It did send me somewhere, but I didn't know where. I, I, I just went with the flow, just kept going until full stop, the book was finished. And then... It was self -published. I sent the book to four publishers, yeah? Not normally, I like, send the first chapter and then they write to you and say, give me the book back. I just sent the whole book because that's what I'm like. <laughs> right. Right so I sent the whole book and the four publishers said to me, yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. I said, why? And the fourth publisher said to me, unless you're a well-known name, you will get nowhere. Uh, oh. And okay. my mum called me one day and said, I didn't know what to do. But she said, turn the TV over now. By the time I got there, I'd missed it. It was an advert for self-publishing surgery. I found out about it. It was on the right day when I had my support worker who drove. So I went. And out of the six publishers, would be publishers that writers there, I was the only one with the full manuscript, the complete manuscript. So through this surgery, we changed the manuscript from that to book yes i had to do the chapters the pictures blah 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 but eventually i held the first book yeah i was like oh my goodness i wrote this but the green cover was lots of money so i opted for a black and white cover which oh this is my mum's by the way she's the only person that's got this now Oh. Then it went to black and white, but they didn't, we couldn't do the spines on the first ones, yeah. So anybody who's got a spineless original, one day it'll be worth millions. Millions of dollars. Hang on millions. to it. Julian, you, you kind of, original, yeah. yeah, you kind of jumped. Much, because the, the readers of the spineless originals are my first people that went, yeah. Julian, Julian, yeah. you've got to write some more, you, you're brilliant you are so what kind of response are you getting what kind of response how did you know that you were on to something really special based on the response of your book because this all these letters came let's just, see them oh uh, can you see them no i'll tell you where you can see them yet yeah, hold uh, them up uh -oh. all of these yeah, oh all my goodness Oh, I, for people who are reading this book or who are thinking about reading it, what type of messages are in there? What kind of encouragement of overcoming? Give me an example of why someone who needs encouragement would read this. Why would they read it? Because I don't know, really. Some people 
say that they're curious others say that they want to know how an injury like this can affect you and what it can mean because somebody in their family is injured or they're injured themselves or sure. oh. so but so, one of the things i mean you talk in your book a lot about strength and common sense and listen to your inner voice would you talk about some of those inner voice when something is said when things are just slotting seem to be slotting into place and first of all you can't believe it you can't believe that it seems to be so right and so often you'd be like mm, no but your inner voice do it do it do it it, it tells you yeah it tells you listen yeah. to your inner voice yeah you, you might fall over but you're not you haven't broken anything get it get on with it do it again go for it go so go that takes us back to the point that you speak about in your book about strength what kind of strength are you talking about physical or emotional or mental strength well my physical strength was damaged my mental strength was damaged so it's above and beyond that it, it, your inner voice the the inner core of you the essence of you you are responsible for you if you don't do it nobody else will it's up to you so that's how I, that's how i kept falling over in the middle of the string <laughs> getting people do you know what i fell over in the middle of the street i couldn't believe this i was on two sticks and people walked around me wow i was shocked I was shocked, not surprised, a bit shocked, but not surprised. So what are some of those in the letters that you held up? What are some of the comments that people have said to you about what the book meant to them? Thanks very much. And don't forget, quote, swing your arms, bend your knees, big toes down and lean into the mountain. A philosophy for life. That's what that reader wrote, a philosophy for life. Hmm? Hmm um send a copy and close a copy your husband or is he now an ex defies description i would have thought a good lawyer would be able to get you a damn sight more than one computer jillian mark two oh dear jillian mark two is no masterpiece but it is an honest and revealing account of the aftermath of a truly horrendous accident uh much to admire in your book thanking you me for allowing you allowing me to share your story jillian these these responses are so emotional it, it feels like almost friends are writing to you they feel like they know you on a on a whole new personal level so you, yeah. you're writing very real and very raw to them just, 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 really found, just found another one you like this you your book made me laugh and cry certainly made me think my sentiments exactly loved the code names Daily Express. Mm. I so love it. My website. They're all on this website, my new website. I'm so happy about that. That's great. Jillian, it, we're starting to wrap up the interview a little bit, but um, just tell me what, when someone reads your book, what is it that you hope that they say or that they feel afterward? I hope that they say it makes it made them laugh and cry and think it made them think for themselves about themselves because you've got to have got a, a, everything has a reason and everything has oh, this is how it's so old mm. That's... <laughs> everything has consequences every action you take you make has consequences Jillian, thank you for joining us. We want to thank uh, Prime 7 Media. And your book is available on uh, Amazon and the typical places that you can find books. Thanks again and have a great day. You too, you too. And thank you very thank much. You. Bye, all.